give him advice on handling that? Well, not, you know, we always are talking about where we are, and as, as opposed to uh, sitting down and talking to him, you know, we were in practice and after practice yesterday when obviously the rankings came out, we haven't talked about it, but uh, I think the key, and, and I think they know this, is that uh, we know what our foundation is. We've got to continue to build that, and, uh, and we've got a pretty simple goal. We just want to be the best basketball team that we can be. And we know that we've got uh, room for improvement. We know we have to improve. There's no doubt that, uh, again, I, I'm really I'm, I'm proud of these guys because they built this, and we talked about it. Even It had nothing to do with the ranking. It had to do with where we are playing and how we're playing right now. And you go back two years ago with uh, Kyle Alexander, uh, Lamonte, and Turner, and Admiral Schofield, and Brad Woodson, and, and Lucas Campbell. They've been here. They know what it's like to lose 16, 17, 18 games. And when you see what, you know, four years later, but, you know, we remember those things. And, uh, and the fact that when you, when you think about uh, – where we are right now, and you know, obviously it's, it's something that they should be proud of, but they also know we're in the middle of basketball season and, and it doesn't get you anything other than the attention and notoriety it brings. And, but they've dealt with some attention and notoriety that people probably didn't think they would have had a year ago. And it still goes back to where you have to stay grounded in terms of your everyday work ethic, your everyday mindset to know that uh, we're trying to build something that's, that's sustainable. And to do that, um, it's just a daily commitment. And uh, knowing what your foundation is and trying to make it as strong as you can make it every day. David and Ryan. Uh, Rick, you touched on it a little bit. I'm curious also how you found out you're number one and what you think it means to this team as a whole. Well, when uh, we got through with practice, um, I mean, it, you know, obviously, you know, it, before it ever happened, you knew there could be a possibility of that, but one, two, three, four, I mean, um, the fact that we are, again, I think is a compliment to our players. I, I don't think there's any question they're the ones that put the hard work into it. Uh, I think it's a compliment to our coaching staff, to our university, the commitment. I think it's a great compliment to our fan base. And uh, I think it says a lot about Tennessee basketball because uh, we've, got a, we've got a history here. And it goes back, uh, this university had been ranked number one in basketball before. And uh, you go back as far as, as you want to go to the Ernie and Bernie days. And, and I think it's a compliment that uh, these guys have continued to try to build this program to the, the level that we'd all like to see it and see if we can keep it there. But uh, we haven't made a big deal about it. We really, I won't make a big deal about it because they read what they read and, and the big things that we've tried to teach these guys. And, is that, uh, you know, people should, I mean, we're, we're glad people are excited. I'm glad for our guys that they are. But I will still go back to my first year here when we were struggling just to try to stay competitive. Our fan base was tremendous. And, and I, I will, that's what I remember as much as anything and where we are now. And, and right now it's, it's as simple as can we continue to, again, be the best team that this team wants to be. And that's where we've got to keep the focus. Rob, that's 